Welcome back everybody to the Pottery Corner. Slightly different take on our video this week. I had these three lovely ladies in the studio for the first part of the throwing course that we do here at the Pottery Corner. Um, and as you can see, they're all doing pretty well. And we have three wheels here, so there are only ever three students in at a time. So it gives me plenty of chance to give as much help as I possibly can. Um, and and it's always nice to pass on my knowledge of throwing to my students. And as you can see, this is probably about two thirds of the way through the session. They've actually thrown some really decent sized pots. Um, so they did really well, the lady. Hello. What's Mr. Charlie doing in the studio? Hello, darling. Come on then, up you go. Come on, let's go. Cleaning to do. Up you go. Go on. Up the stairs. Go on. Oh, is it good boy? Say hello. Say hello. Hello, Charlie. We don't usually see you in here, do we? Not often. And you're such a beautiful boy. So here we are up in the studio after yesterday's throwing course where I had three lovely ladies in the studio uh, doing the first part of a throwing course. So today, <laughs> having spent four hours yesterday teaching the class and was quite exhausted, uh, today I've left the clean up. So I'm just going to quickly flick around the studio because everything's in the wrong place and and all the pots that they threw, lovely pots that they threw, uh, are all on bats waiting for me to deal with them. Um, all the wheels, all the wheels are dirty. Oh my, look at the mess. So our task today, this morning, is to clean the wheels, get everything back where it needs to be, ready for normal teaching coming up this week. So, dogs are happy. There's Mr. Charlie. And there's lovely Miss Sissy. Hello, Miss Sissy. Say, what, just because I'm talking to her, you've got to get up, have you? Say hello, Sissy. Say hello to everybody. She says, I'm in my basket that's got cats on it. Yes, that's, uh, that's what we like, isn't it? We like cats. Do we chase cats, Sissy? Do you chase the cats? Do we chase them? We do chase them. The most important thing, of course, is to get the kettle on for a nice cup of something. Can't work in the studio without making myself a drink, so let's stick the kettle on and clear up the uh, stuff on the draining board. that are in the bottom of the, the throwing water buckets I just put in the bin rather than in the, down the sink. what I've got. It's a box addressed to me from the lovely Monique on Bonaire. I've been waiting a month for this to arrive and it arrived today. Hurrah! So we're going to unbox it together and I'm just going to stick it on one of my videos. Um, you know, when I send my things out on Etsy um, and, you know, I box it up and lovingly cover it in bubble wrap and, and all the rest of it, I do I do hope that it finds its home in one piece. And that's always the jeopardy of sending things um, on uh, in the post um, abroad. So this has come all the way from Bonaire, which is in the Dutch Caribbean, which is 
miles and miles and miles, 5,000 odd, maybe even 6,000 odd miles away. So it's a long, long way away. So Monique, I hope you're watching. I've been waiting for this. Very exciting. Here we go. So let's see what we've got. Right, so it's very nicely packed. I need my trusty knife to get through all of the sellotape, which obviously um, keeps it dry as well when it's traveling abroad. I'm gonna be a little bit bullish with it. Can't wait, it's too exciting. So as many of you who watch my videos regularly will know, I already have one mug from the lovely Monique and I use it every day. In fact, it sat on the draining board having used it for coffee earlier. So it's my favourite mug. There we go. That's it. Okay, fingers crossed everybody. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So lots of lovely peanuts. They're really good for packing actually. Here it comes. Oh, it looks okay. Looks okay. Oh, there's a little note. What's that? Oh, <laughs> I'll read that to you in a minute. Let's just see our new mug. Let's cut that there. But you're catching all of this. I'm sure you can see how excited I am. Because now I shall be able to have um, two cups of coffee in the morning without bothering to uh, wash my mug. Oh, look. Here it comes. Handle's nicely packed. That's a really good idea, using a noodle. Um, very clever, because they're cheap, those. Um, you use them for swimming, the swimming noodles. They're really, they're really cheap, so that's a really good way of packing a handle. I might steal that idea, Monique. Still fighting, still fighting. Ooh. Oh, look. Get the sellotape off the outside. Oh, it's beautiful. And that bit, get that bit off of there. Get rid of the packaging and then I'll show you what we've got. Look, a beautiful Scrofito mug. Look at that. Such a lot of work in that. A little baby goat. He's really cute. He's cute, cute, cute. Lovely underglaze colours. Beautiful. Really, really lovely. Lovely mug. Lovely handle. Beautifully thrown. Oh, he's gorgeous. Can't wait to use him. Because I'm left-handed, I will always have the baby um, goat towards me because that's the way I hold my mug. Oh, he's so cute. He looks like he's smiling. Lovely. Really, really lovely. Absolutely pleased with that. Gorgeous. Well done, Monique. I'm just going to read my little card. Let's open this up. What is in there? There's something in this bag. I don't know what it is. It looks like glass fruit, actually. Oh no, maybe it isn't. Oh, let's read the card. Here we go. Let's read the card. She calls me Pottery Sis. I, I, I think that you are my Pottery Sis, Monique. So it says, Hi, Pottery Sis. Here's your goat mug. Extraordinaire. It is. It is uh, um, extraordinaire. A little special for a special lady. Oh, and a small gift. Cobalt granules. Oh, I'm not 100% sure of its content. Be careful. Used as is, they can run. Enjoy playing with them. Thank you for your business. Oh, well, I've never even heard of those. Has anybody heard of those? Write in the comments. Wow, look, look at that. That's really interesting. It looks like stones. There you are, cobalt granules. How about that? Well, I think I'm going to be... Uh, I'm unloading a bisque firing later. So um, it's just wonderful. It's, it's almost like glass, um, but sort of slightly stony. So... Ooh, that's going to be fun to play with. We'll have a nice little go with those. Thank you, Monique. That's wonderful. Um, and a lovely handwritten card. Thank you so much, Monique. I shall really enjoy using my little goatee mug. And in fact, I'm going to go and make myself a fruit tea in it now. I'll see you all in a bit. Bye for now.
So clean up done. All the work's been put away in bags to keep it um, hard enough for uh, trimming next week. All the washing up's been done. Piles and piles of it. All the uh, wheels have been cleaned. The bats are just drying. I let my bats just dry before I put them back in a pile. Uh, all the wheels are clean and back to where they should be. The floor is nice and clean. And my lovely studio table is wiped and ready to go. So that clean up took... Um, I don't remember actually looking at the clock at the start, but I'm I'm sure I was in here by just after four, and it's now, yes, quarter past five. So over an hour to clean up the studio. Um, and as you saw me eating earlier, this is my little jelly tot stash. I have a little, um, a little obsession for jelly tots. So I hope you've enjoyed um, watching my studio clean up and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.